Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're doing a review of Bebop and Rocksteady. Stay tuned. <laughs> finally, finally, finally got my hands on these guys. It is so freaking ridiculous. So ridiculous to find these two. Uh, it, I, I have a theory behind the whole thing of why NECA makes it so hard to find these two guys. Uh, one is the, the price point. Price one is pretty good to get two figures in the, in the same pack for these two figures. I know a lot of people have been waiting for these guys for a long, long time. And now that they're out and they look like this and then the price point that NECA put out on them. I can see why they're so sought off, so sought after because these guys, they look like they just came out of the cartoon. <laughs> it's so crazy like to get your hands on them and they're all bulky and everything it's so freaking awesome but anyways uh let's get started on the review we'll start with bebop uh and then rocksteady afterwards so you guys can see i'm sure you guys have seen reviews after reviews after reviews but man to get your hands on these guys it is freaking awesome look at the look at the, look at the detail on these things like it's literally a chain like it's a chain it's it's made out of plastic it's not metal or anything but still it's like a little chain even here and this is loose too and the detail on that too it's crazy all the line work that they put on it to make it more, look more cartoonish it's just really really cool man really really cool this is a stuff this is a type of stuff that i want to do you know what i mean i wish i wish i could get a job where i could sculpt and make figures all day i mean i already do that but if i could work for a company where uh i do this for a living i get a paycheck to do this oh man that would be that would be like a dream job for me like it's ridiculous like to do something like this i don't know and then to have a bunch of fans you know enjoying your artwork because this is art you know a lot of people are uh, they they look at me and they're like uh aren't you a little too old to be playing with toys first of all i don't play with the toys Second of all, uh, it's artwork. It's a type of artwork. It's three. It's literally 3D printed artwork. Like you know what I mean? It's sculpting is artwork. Um, no matter what anybody tells you, I think action figures. That's what I got into action. Well, one of the reasons why I got into action figures. The other reason was because uh, my mom had threw away, or she she didn't throw away. She sold all my figures on on uh, yard sales. So uh, when I went back to look for my figures, they were all gone. So the nostalgia was gone. So I saw I, I went and I started picking up the figures that I had as a kid. Um, and then I started getting into coll collecting and I started collecting the new figures. And then I started getting into NECA figures and NECA does a freaking awesome job in these figures. Like every figure that NECA does, even the stuff that I don't collect, which is like Jason or Freddy, and like horror stuff i don't really collect it but it's awesome like the stuff that they do it's crazy and if i was to have a job like that can you imagine how happy i would be <laughs> if i had a job where i could sculpt things like this and you know sell them and produce them and stuff like that it's crazy i mean i do that like with the if you guys saw my um my small soldier figures uh, you guys see that I, I build my own figures and I sell them and stuff like that. But this is just one at a time. If I could like reproduce them over and over and over again and people are, you know, searching for them and collectors are searching for my stuff. That's a really cool feeling, you know what I mean? That that must that must be a really, really good feeling. And these dudes they, they resell for like a hundred dollars, which is ridiculous, like double the price of what they originally go for. So um yeah, it's it's crazy. Anyways i'm just like blabbering around because i'm in awe with these figures these figures are like they were worth the wait they're really worth the wait man like i, I was talking about to neca and i was like uh neca what's up with you guys you guys mess around and then they mess with people not let not being able to find these figures you guys are just teasing us and so on and so forth but neca they they knocked this thing out of the park dude like seriously like look at this thing like like it's crazy it even looks like like if it's hand painted one thing i did notice though is the butt cheek here <laughs> it's red it wasn't even painted right that's one thing i noticed but you know I, 
it is what it is i could always repaint it and it's not a big deal but the articulation on this thing too like you could actually post so much on these guys it's crazy like to have something that you could post so much and have the app crunches and all that great but you know it's there it's crazy to me like you know what i mean it's it's really really good work really really good work guys so i had, had the, my hats off to NECA with for these figures it's 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 crazy the the amount of detail there are in these guys it's just it's nuts <laughs> it's nuts like the lines it looks like they hand painted everything like look at that it's crazy it's nuts anyways there's bebop and another thing too that they do is like they made it look like a, there's a shadow back here so the back half of this is all like a brownish color to like a darker brown is lighter brown and you can see right here too is a different color than it is there and also right here so except the pants the pants are just black except for that spot there but yeah these figures are incredible anyways let's get rock steady over here so this rock steady as you guys can see the details on this thing is ridiculous <laughs> it is so freaking awesome look at this thing uh this part right here wasn't really painted for some odd reason but i guess i could i could understand why because like when you move these things uh it's gonna chip the paint in there but i mean they could have just done the paint the same boot uh the color of the little um joint in there that shit they could have just painted it or made it the same color as the boot uh just to you know make it better i guess but other than that like look at this thing it's so freaking cool man it is crazy and this of course is the one that uh when he when when rocksteady first came out uh he had the camel pants on so the camel pants look at the detail on this thing too like like the whole it is make it look like cartoon the line work on this thing is crazy look at that all throughout the whole figure even the little helmet right here and now you can pull out the helmet too it's kind of hard to pull out the helmet you have to like kind of pull the ears back but you can still take it off So yeah, if you want them without a helmet, you could always take off the helmet. You could always put it back on. Like I said, it's kind of it's kind of difficult to put it back on, but it's it's possible. There you go. I like it better with the helmet. So I think the helmet look came out pretty pretty freaking cool. This is kind of loose. Which I don't like because kind of be able to rip that off really, really quick. <laughs> so uh, you got to be careful with that little stuff and this stuff too. And that detail and this stuff too. Look at this thing. My camera could focus. These little bombs right here. It's cool. And how they made this little strap right there. And then they made this little strap there. And the whole goggles. Really cool character, man. I'm like really... Like I said, I'm so excited that I finally got to pick these two guys up. Um, it's, it's it's crazy. It's like it's like looking in the cartoon. Like it's a cartoon, real hands, cartoon, real hands. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, that's gonna do it for the review. Um, I don't want to say too much because it's like you guys. I'm 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 pretty sure you guys saw all this already a hundred times. So um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, if you guys like the review. Uh, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace. I'm just playing, guys. <laughs> I was just joking around. I'm the one that made the helmet and I colored his pants that way. Because I thought it would be cool to color the pants this way. Because it was the first time he showed up on um, on, a, on the scene. Uh, was what He was wearing these camel pants. Uh, so if you guys see the first time the uh, Rocksteady, Bebop and Rocksteady came out on the cartoon series, 
uh, Rocksteady was wearing these pants, so I decided to make these pants for them. Uh, I think they came out pretty good, and I did the whole outline thing too. Got the buttons, buttons like that too, color the buttons. Uh, did the helmet. The helmet took forever, and it kind of messed up the color of uh, Rocksteady because uh, I did it off of a uh, polymer clay. So uh, the polymer clay, it sticks to your fingers really, really bad. Uh, so when I was sculpting it onto his head, um, it, unfortunately, it, it gets stuck to your fingers, and I rubbed it all over him. So you guys could see there's a little bit of yellow on him, and even on the gun, there's a little bit of yellow because the sculpt itself and then I had to repaint the whole helmet and so I put the details in the helmet so yeah I think the helmet came out pretty good and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that anyways because when I take out the helmet you guys can see yellow underneath there too uh, which I messed up I could just always rub it off with some alcohol or something but I'm afraid of taking off the actual paint but if that happens I could always paint it you know because that's what I do I do you know repaint <laughs> so I could always repaint it but I think it came out pretty good I don't know you guys you guys let me know what you guys think about the camel pants I like it I kind of I honestly like when I first when I first got these figures I was like Bebop for sure really really cool like uh, was a lot better than Rocksteady well, not a lot better but you know he I, I thought this figure was better than uh, Rocksteady until I painted it and I was like, uh, they're really, <laughs> like, I like them both the same now. Like, I really, really like the way this dude came out. Like, the whole camel pants and everything. Uh, I know that in the cartoon series, the, the, the boots are a little bit more red. I have a little red tint to it more. Like, the orangey red. Orange, red, like, brown looking boots. And I might do that later, but I didn't, I, I didn't feel like I had to do it. Because it, it, it's kind of the same color. It, it, it's there it's not that much of a difference so I kind of didn't want to bother with painting the boots for the same reason I was telling you guys because of this this thing because when you move all this articulate it it's going to mess up the paint the paint's going to chip so I didn't really want to do it so I just left it the way it was but uh, I think the helmet came out pretty cool the fact that you could that you could remove it and it fits his head so it doesn't move it doesn't mess with any of the articulation that still it still moves exactly the way it's supposed to move so that that that's pretty cool and the fact that you could remove it uh that's also pretty cool uh i guess it's the type of polymer clay that i used um the type of polymer clay was uh, uh actually let me show you guys so you guys i know you guys i know some of you guys are going to be like asking uh what polymer clay did you use blah blah, blah. so let me show you exactly what polymer clay I use hold on give me a second all right guys so this is the brand that i use is fimo and it's soft uh just know that there's a difference there's hard uh polymer clay doesn't mean that the clay itself is hard because it, it'll always be hard uh polymer clay is always hard when you first buy it uh you have to smush it together to make it soft but um uh it says soft for that particular reason is that because you can bend it once it's fried or once you bake it in the oven because uh, that's what you're supposed to do with polymer clay is bake it in the oven um, it usually gets hard so if you have a hard one it gets super hard so you can't bend it and I made sure I, I got the soft one so it's it's uh, capable of bending so that way you can remove it if you want to or you can put it back um, I was thinking of making some more of these so if you guys are interested in buying some of these for um, for your figure uh, let me know in the comments down below and I might reproduce these guys and make some more of them uh, that way you guys could get, have them for your own uh, figure if you want you guys don't have to paint the pants if you don't want to it's up to you I don't care that's that's completely up to you but if you guys want a helmet uh, let me know in the comments and I'll start making some more for you guys and you guys could you know buy it off of me or whatever or um, uh, send me a message either here on my email or my Instagram uh, it's up to you guys whatever you guys want to do um, I, I'm not 100% sure if I put them on eBay or not uh, I might I might do it but uh, I don't know I don't know it's still up in the air but anyways uh, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you like it uh, I really like the way it came out uh, I made it I made sure that it had all that line work as well like in the like they did in the actual figures so it could go together so anyways um, 
So now, I think both of them are really freaking cool together. Um, so yeah, there's not, I don't like this guy more than this guy anymore. I don't like this guy more than this guy anymore. I think they're both uh, equally freaking cool now that I made the helmet and I painted his pants. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys, because uh, the algorithm uh, works that way with uh, YouTube. The more likes I get, the more this video gets shared. Uh, I'm trying to work my way up to a thousand subscribers. At least a thousand subscribers, guys. So if you guys could help me out that way, um, that'll be awesome. Uh, I'll really, really appreciate it. That's all you have to do is just leave a either leave a comment down below or hit the like button it, it really does help me out guys so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace